Governor Deal signed Georgia's gun bill into law. This law makes it possible for those with a carry permit to bring a gun into a bar without restriction. Certain parts of the airports and into some government buildings that don't have certain security measures. Gun advocates in Ellijay saved some of their loudest applause today for State House Speaker David Ralston. And I want you to know that as long as I'm honored to serve as the speaker in this state, that there, no law-abiding Georgian will ever have to run and hide from a bad guy. The bill also allows religious leaders to decide whether it's okay for people with a carry permit to bring weapons into their churches. Governor Deal may have been applauded by supporters of House Bill 60, but he was widely criticized for signing the bill by gun control advocates. CBS 46's Bernard Watson spoke to Reverend Raphael Warnock, the spiritual leader of historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. And Bernard, he has been an outspoken critic of this law, hasn't he? He certainly has, Stephanie, and basically he said that he is one of a number of pastors that don't, does not believe that guns have any place inside a house of worship, a bar, or even school campus. And today he said that lawmakers who worked at the Capitol to get this bill passed, in essence, chose money over the safety of Georgia residents. This is a terrible day uh, in the state of Georgia. Uh, the message is very clear that uh, many of our politicians are owned by the gun lobby. Strong words from Reverend Raphael Warnock, the spiritual leader of the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church, voicing his opposition to HB 60. I think uh, our governor, as he signs this bill, uh, has placed his signature on a terrible experiment that comes at the expense of ordinary Georgians. HB 60 is a wide-ranging law that reduces the penalty of several existing gun laws and gives gun owners more freedom to carry their weapons where they want, including inside bars and certain sections of Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. It also allows people with a Georgia firearm license to take their weapons inside churches as long as the church's policy allows it. It's a public safety issue. Uh, just because someone has a permit doesn't mean that they're always responsible. Churches are private property. The government should not be able to say whether I can carry a firearm in there or whether I'm not. Jerry Henry is the executive director of GeorgiaCarry.org. He says the law doesn't go far enough. Normally, any time there is an expansion of laws that allow you more freedom to carry your firearms in other places, it does lower the crime rate. Reverend Warnock disagrees. This notion of building a society where every man, every woman for himself, everybody's armed, the notion that that will somehow solve the problem is, is, is false. And Reverend Warnock, as well as other gun control advocates, say they are concerned that this bill is so sweeping, this new law, I should say, is so sweeping and affects so many things that it will have a lot of unintended consequences that will affect not only residents, but also local governments and law enforcement. For now, we are live downtown. Bernard Watson, CBS 46 News. Tomorrow, the Smyrna Police Department will host a free gun safety seminar, and the topics include identifying various guns, how to store your gun, how gun accidents happen, and more on the Stand Your Ground law. The seminar is from 7 to 9 at Smyrna City Hall. It will be limited to 100 people.